Mark's latest dinosaur, the Carcadontosaurus, and I want to see how good this thing really is. So what better than to do a 100 days challenge where I can only use the Carcadontosaurus? And for this challenge, I will be playing on Extinction, as this is the only map which allows me to actually take the car car into the boss fight. But now, let's get into the video. Day 1 started as any other 100 days does by collecting some stone, followed by some bushes for berries. I punched this tree to get wooden thatch so I can make this stone pickaxe. Using my no stone tool I harvested some rocks. After harvesting up some more materials I placed down the starter blocks for my base. Before long I assembled this masterpiece. With the foundations placed I headed out to get these river rocks for metal and stone. With that stone I placed this campfire and refining forge. Soon later I had myself a smithy and was moving on to metal tools. Near my base I found this moss chops which only wanted magic berries and this would have been amazing for a first team had it not been for the car car only challenge so I punished it and it ran off. Then the heat my base was becoming unbearable so I set out on a journey to get silk for desert cloth armour before I stumbled upon this weird thing. What is this? A soup? 18k health! What? I used parachutes to help me get safely from the sanctuary and out into the wastelands. I was able to get to the desert uneventfully, but I immediately found this Velonosaur shooting at something nearby. I didn't quite fancy catching a stray bullet, so I ran away. The desert biome was looking peaceful until I found this aloe blocking my path. I was able to sneak my way past where it seemed the aloe had lost its battle to some stegos. Not long after, I found the thing I'd been looking for, these purple flowers which give silk when harvested. After harvesting a couple stacks, I now had the easy task of running all the way back to base. However, these Allosaurus wouldn't appreciate me running in their territory, as one chased after me and killed me. I returned to collect my stuff and it seemed the Allosaurus had disappeared, which was good news for me. I made it out of the desert and now I just had to cross the wasteland to get back to base. I got back to base safe and sound. My next goal was to improve my base by replacing the factory with some stone foundations. I even had a special guest come over and admire my base. Oh, oh, I've got one of these weird turkey things here. It's got 20k health, why have they got so much health? This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Eventually my base was finished. Close to my base this tech rex was roaming around, so I killed it. I wanted to make myself a shotgun, so I jumped off this cliff in the search for obsidian. However, I didn't turn the parachute well at all. Thankfully, I found the obsidian, so I harvested it. However, I needed more cementing place, so I went out and killed a few spiders and harvested their bodies for chitin. Soon later, I finally had the materials to craft my very first pump action shotgun. But now I needed to mass produce charcoal to make gunpowder, so I hit some trees for wood and burnt that wood in some campfires. After a while of farming, I was now able to make my first set of shotgun ammo. I then tested it out on this strike and it was doing good damage. Then I spent some time killing enforcers as they give a good amount of scrap metal. I also stole from this beaver dam where there was a beaver sat inside the dam itself. The next few days were then spent making even more gunpowder. I got around to making myself some med brews as I thought they would be sensible to have when taming the car car. And I also made some energy brews as they would also be very helpful. With all that prep work done, I set off to go tame my first car car. Whilst out searching, I ran into a bit of trouble, so I took the sensible option to place down a sleeping bag. I had searched this whole path without luck and found myself still on this cliff, so I jumped off, parachuted and continued my search. Whilst in the air, I saw a tail stick out of the wall, and I knew that had to be it. Wait, is that it? Oh, oh, level six, not, it's not too bad. Um, I'm going, oh no, that UT, oh no. Please don't aggro, please. Ooh, what was that? Oh, is, is that, I think that's the car car. Things were going surprisingly well as I'd gone up to three quarters of the way tamed. Alright, clear this bear. What? 
Oh no! Why is there a Giga here? Oh, that's not good. Right, um, can I take this trike? No. Oh no. Oh, why? Why? I was able to return to the area with the car car occupied and I got my things. I returned to the taming process by offering this nice deco, but things soon went south again. Just get. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. That's not good. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. No. Once again, I collected my things and swam back to shore. And once more, we were back in action with the taming as I offered it this stego meal. Things seemed to be going well as it kept accepting my offerings. I then brought it one last offering of this Megaloceros. I let it sniff it, walk over and eat it, and the car car was mine. The next part is super easy, you just kill a lot of things without taking damage and that's how you get 100% taming effectiveness. Day 10 started with, you guessed it, more gunpowder production. It was now time to move on to electrical stuff, so I built and placed this generator. I then took my car cart out to the wasteland to kill some corrupted dinos, which drop corrupted nodules which can be used instead of polymer. After collecting a fair amount of it, I headed back to base. I had even found this cool trick where you can stand on the car car's foot and it will carry you. Back at base, I used the polymer to make a refrigerator, and then a chemistry wrench, and that would allow me to make gunpowder much quicker and make even more ammo, so I did exactly that. Eventually I had made up enough ammo where I was comfortable going out to tame another car car, so I saw balled up my car car and headed off to find one. You now join me back at base, and if you hadn't noticed, I don't have my car car anymore, and it's not in my inventory either. It's here. Dead. While I start searching, I ran into a Giga, and well, enough said. I'm now back to square one. So I crafted myself up some more shotgun ammo, and then I set out once more. After a while, I found one, a level 105, and I would definitely be happy to get that. It was now time to start giving the sacrifices, so I started with this Anki, and then another Anki. But the car car wasn't interested in my third offering. Instead, it went after some mammoths. It then went a bit rogue and went up this cliffside and no longer seemed to be interested in anything I had to offer. After waiting around for a bit, I decided to try again, but the same happened and it was still not interested. I headed back down the path and found this high leveled one at level 110, and this actually seemed interested in the sacrifices I gave it. And even better, this one was actually working as I'd gone into over 50% of the way. I then offered it one last corrupted PT and it was all mine. Now I just had to kill a bunch of things. I'd almost walked it all the way back to base before it took the final bite of this trike and it was tamed. There were one of these weird turkey things outside my base, but my new car car took care of that. It was now time for a small base expansion, so I went out to get more materials and then place down the new foundations. I even had enough materials and space to place down this industrial grill. I took my car cut out to kill some defence units to get scrap metal, before we then ventured out into the wasteland to kill some more corrupted creatures. Back at base I made this chainsaw, then took it out for a test run on this tree, and it got me a lot of wood from just one tree. Then this happened. Yo, uh, um, where, where, where are you going? Where's he going? <laughs> where is he gone? Why is it just running away? What is it? Oh, it's gone off the cliff. Oh, great. How has it got there? And how am I meant to get it back? So I went out to get some more explorer notes to get myself up to level 96 so I could finally craft the car car saddle.
Once back at base, I made myself some more shotgun ammo before taking the car car out to find it a mate. I soon stumbled across a low level male, which was perfect. So I then started the slow taming process by giving it dead bodies and it seemed to be going well until it was on one last feed and a group of stegos spawned right in front of it and it aggroed onto them. Alright, I think one more body should do. Um, right, yeah, I'll take over this RG. Right, okay, it's eight that body. Just one more, I think. A uh, what? Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, you've got to be joking. Despite this random Giga spawning, I was able to finish the tame as the Giga had wandered off somewhere else. Now all that was left was the killing spree part. But I then returned to the same area to tame that other Kaka as it was a high level female and surprisingly this tame went super easy without nothing to interrupt us. And I was able to finish up the tame with ease. When I returned to base, I made an egg incubator, then set my two carcass to breeding whilst being attacked by this tech raptor. Whilst they were breeding, I thought it'd be best to set up a base perimeter to make it more safe. So, after a lot of stone harvesting, I made this. Whilst I had been making all of that, one of my carcass had been raising up, and now it was fully grown. So I took it out for a spin, and it was doing 300 damage already, which wasn't bad. One of the best things about car cars is their health regen at high levels. Here I am at level 94 and its health is shooting up. At level 100 it was doing 2.5k damage, and that was good enough to even take out this corrupted Giga with ease. So I stumbled across this yellow OSD, and because car cars are the best dinos to do OSDs with, I thought I'd test mine out. With that final kill, wave 1 was done, however, this Giga spawned nearby which could be an issue further into the waves. This thing is a killing machine, so the next few waves went easily. Once I killed this final trike, my first OSD of the 100 days was complete. Sadly though, the loot wasn't anything special, so I returned back to base and hatched this egg, which gave me male twins. I also started breeding my OG car car and a new male I'd raised up to get the best out of all my car cars onto one. And after not too long I had exactly this with this new male. Whilst they were all still breeding I thought it would be of my best interest to go out and kill some tech creatures to get scrap metal. Those male twins had now grown up so I took one out to level and heal it up. I ended up stumbling across this element vein so I started it. Once I killed this final trike, it was complete. I then harvested all the nodes and I was now element rich. On my way back to base, I found this red drop and I was feeling confident. And so I should as my car car was absolutely bossing it and destroying each wave. Even the enraged trikes were no match for my car car. The loot on this drop was much better than the previous yellow one I had, but that was to be expected. The morning of the 29th day I returned home. I then hatched a bunch of females which I could use for my mutation line as they all had the base 28 melee stat. After waiting around for a bit they were all raised so I began breeding for mutations on the melee stat. Sadly I didn't get any mutations on the first batch of eggs. So I left them to breed whilst I headed out towards the sunken forest. The reason why I'm here is because I want to take on the forest titan and see if my car cars were up to the test which is why I brought a mate boosted pair for increased damage. And I was going to use the cave to get my creatures up to level 100 so they'd be doing the most damage possible in the fight. Once I'd cleared the cave I went back to collect the artifact and then I summoned the forest titan. Right here we go. I just hope two car cars is enough because I haven't tested this or anything and I'm a little bit apprehensive about doing this with just two car cars, but uh, we're here now. Ooh, what? 16k damage! Do 
already like increased damage or something to Titans. Oh, this, this is going to be more than enough. That that did hurt though. We've only got 170k left. Oh, we're going to be fine. Right, 100k left. Yeah, this has gone easy. I did not know that car, oh, well, anything does increase damage to um, the Titans or simple. I did not know that. That's the Forest Titan complete. That was very easy. And the loots, that's okay. Back at base, I had 32 eggs waiting for me. So I hatched them all as I was using them for the King Titan fight later. Next, I made an industrial forge and then used the mining drill to collect some metal. An alternative source of metal were these defense units, which get around 60 per body. I took a break from metal farming to do this red OSD, to get some better loot and most importantly the corrupted hearts. And it was going super easy with my car car doing 4k damage per bite. Then this happened. Ooh, whoa! Why have I just taken flight? Ooh, that was... I was not expecting that. I then killed this final parasite and completed the drop. And the loot was meh, it was okay. Soon later I found another red drop, which I finished without a problem. A good thing about those red OSDs is they give me enough corrupted hearts to go and attempt the Ice Titan, so I went to the cave and did exactly that. I first had to make a quick stop to collect the artifact and then it was time to summon the Ice Titan. Just like the Forest Titan, my car cars were doing increased damage, so it was going very well at first. I was able to kill the Titan, but it done a lot more damage to me than the Forest Titan did. After that success, I went out to get some more metal and some corrupted nodules. Once I returned, I finally had enough materials to make a tech replicator, and the first thing I crafted was a tech chess piece. I then stumbled across another Ellie vein, and who doesn't like free element? With this final kill I had completed it, and I had gotten almost 1k element from this one. Day 41 was spent doing some tribute hunting before I made my way over to the desert and into the cave to take on the desert titan. However, the artifact wasn't spawning in, so I had to spawn it in with commands. Now, I couldn't exactly use my car car for this, so I had to go with my shotgun, which was actually doing a lot of damage. But the Desert Titan did not like this tactic, so it sent down a wave of lightning and killed me. But I was able to return and get my stuff back. Then with just 32k health left, I ran out of shotgun ammo. So I let it kill me so I could spawn back at base and get some more ammo to finish the job. Following that success, I went out to do another red job to get more loot and mainly the Corrupted Hearts. Back at base, my mutations were coming along nicely as I'd gotten this cool blue one with 30 melee points. I then found this Eddie vein, so I completed it and got a nice amount of element. So I did another one and got around 1k element from this one. I left my car guards breeding and when I got back I had a nice surprise of mutation to a 38 melee. Then I bravely took on the purple drop and the first wave wasn't too bad. But when the enraged Rexes arrived, it became too much for me, so I ran away like a coward. To make up for that failed purple drop, I complete this red drop the following day. And then another red drop, as they were a good way to level up car cars and heal them as well. Now it was time to prepare for the King Titan, by throwing out all my spare car cars in the arena beforehand. I would leave all my good car cars in this base I built nearby for me to ride on. Right, it is go time. Let's summon in this King Titan. Um, I. All right. Um, I guess I'll just get these guys in. Um, right. Do I do? What we're doing? 
Right, um, let's just get these guys in. I'll follow all. Um, it would be great if they all followed. Um, right, let's whistle them in now. Okay, 10k damage. That's not too bad. Nice. This is going well. Ow. That... That's not good. Okay, right, we're back. Oh, no. Oh, that... I'm done, dead. Oh, no. Then I went in on a new car car before I soon died again. Next, I used some tech gear instead of a car car. But I soon resorted back to the car car and I was able... And I was even able to avoid the Titan's foot stomp attack. But I couldn't avoid this attack though. I did 1.3k damage. Oh, and I, that one's just died. Oh, wow, these meteors. How have I survived? I guess I'll just go back in now. I was actually doing decent damage with my solo car car until I died to a meteor. Then I went back to some tech gear instead, but I was soon killed by the King Titan's tail. I then died once more, and then again, before I returned back to base as I had given up. The Titan kept healing before I could do enough damage, making the fight impossible. Back at base, I hatched his mutated triplets, and then hatched a brand new army of car cars. Once they were raised, I took one out to get levels, and it was doing an insane amount of damage. A great way to level them up in groups was with purple OSDs, so I did exactly that. After and here we are again. Um, I think the Titan should still be here. Oh, all the corrupted creatures are here, so I'm guessing it is. Right, they just destroyed that Giga. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this other Giga, then we can go into the fight. Alright, there, go whistle. I've whistled you in. Get it. Come on, guys, do it. Oh, um, these things actually just spawned underneath my feet, that's good. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. They all just died. I'm going to have to try to do this solo now. Thirty-two K damage. What? Holy! When I meant do this solo, I didn't actually mean with just one car car. Oh, why am I doing so much? Oh, I'm not doing any damage anymore. Oh. No, that's the um, demo I've done. Um, King Titan, you okay? I, I cannot hit it. Right, there we go, I can hit it now, 33k. Oh, we're doing loads of damage right now.
but that wouldn't last as I got stuck in his foot and died to a meteor. So I spawned back in and sent another small army in. Wait, I've done it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The Gamma King Titan is done. Following that huge W, I got back to base to continue breeding my car cars, as I only had to go bigger and better for the Beta King Titan. Whilst they were breeding, I jumped into the sunken forest, summoned the forest titan and took it on. Only seconds later, it was defeated. Then on another car car, I went over to the snow cave, summoned in the ice titan and began chomping. Just a few moments later, it was dead. And now, if you hadn't guessed, it was time to go kill the Desert Titan, so I entered the cave and summoned the Titan. This time, I had brought enough ammo to kill it in one go. After, I took on this purple drop, as it was the easiest way to get corrupted hearts and level and heal the car cars. I was able to get all the way to round 16 before I got bored, so I ended it. I was in the mood for more OSDs though, so I took on this red one, and then I finished it. Then I found this purple one and I brought in a pack of car cars this time which made the job so easy because they would kill anything almost instantly. But I ended it on wave 13 because I would got bored. Then I took on another purple job and I ended it on wave 11. But now I was ready. So I collected all my car cars, some element, tech gear and made my way over to the King Titan Arena. On the way there, I got my car cut up to level 100, which would be massive for me in the fight. Right, here we go again, Beta King Titan. Now, if I could do that, like 32k damage again from the start, that will be huge. And, oh my god, I am. Oh, look how quickly it's going down. Right, let's run away a bit. Oh, it's not going to do a stop attack. I guess I'll go back in. Oh, oh no. Not already. Right, um, let's go for round two. Well, I'm doing two and a half K now. would be absolutely lovely if my car car would go in, but it's just standing there. Right, I guess I'll take out this Reaper then. Oh, uh, and it's killed it. Oh, no, please, please don't. Oh. Honestly, I hate those Meteors. They always kill me. Other than that time, of course. Oh, uh, what? This time before going into the fight, I got some levels into the car car. This would allow me to do more damage than normal. But the King Titan didn't like that, so it killed me with some meteors. On my next attempt, I took in a pack of car cars instead of just one, and it seemed to be working slightly better. But, I did have to take care of these corrupted creatures whilst I did the damage to the titan. Then, the titan got stuck in some weird walking animation which allowed me to do a lot of damage before he stomped me and almost killed my car car. It was actually going well as we had gotten it down by nearly a third until this giga got involved and I died to a meteor once again. So I spawned back in and took another pack into the fight whilst I took care of this Giga. But I soon died once again to Meteors. So I sent in some more guys into the fight before the inevitable happened and I died to a Meteor again. Then again. How many Meteors am I going to die to? Another one. 
I went in once more and we were getting close, until it killed all my car cars and set me on fire. But I survived this time. But not the second time. This time I died to the King Titan stump, which was a refreshing change from the meteors. I went back in with two more car cars and this King Titan also didn't like this, as it killed one of them almost instantly. However, I soldiered on. I was set on fire once again, but I was almost there. And I had done it. Defeated the King Titan on Beta, with this car car soloing it at the end. And what was also important was the loot, as I'd gotten the M.O.M.I, which is the Mega Mech, which I would need for the Alpha fight. Amazingly, I still had four car cars left, which I would now be saving for the next fight. I was straight back into the prep work by hatching up even more car cars. Then I was out getting some Spinos to get tributes, and now it was time to do another Purple OSD, but I ended this one only on Wave 7. Now it was time to get some more Corrupted Hearts, and then it was time to hit up the Forest Cave, summon in the Forest Titan, and take it down convincingly. Straight after, I went to the Snow Cave on another car car to summon in the Ice Titan. And just like the Forest Titan, I took it down within seconds. To finish off this quick Titan killing speedrun, I entered the Desert Cave. And just like the last two times, I shotgunned the Titan to death. At base, my massive army of car cars had finished raising up. So I took one of them out to the corrupted area to get some levels and more corrupted hearts. I'd also made up a few mechs, as I was going to use the Mega Mech in this boss fight, as I've never actually fought the Alpha King Titan before, and I really wanted to use the Mega Mech. It was now final prep time, so I threw out all my car cars, and this was the end result. I had a literal army of them in every corner, and I was definitely prepared for this fight. Alright, so um, yeah, look, look at how many I've got. I've got this massive army, it's about 20 here, I think. And then over here, I've got another lot. And there's about a similar amount here, about maybe about 15, 20. And then I've got, once again, the same. I've got about another 15 to 20 here. And if these can't do it, then I don't know what can. Right, let's summon in the Titan. Okay, right, how do we do this Mega Mech thing? This? What? Alpha, Alpha King, Alpha King Titan is here. I forgot to get closer. No, oh, um, that's not the start I wanted. Right, where is it? Uh, I can see the, I can see the bar. Uh, oh, there it is. All right, let's get these guys out now. Mega Mech time. Press C, okay. Oh my, ow, this thing is huge. Wait, why am I mechs? I thought all the mechs would, wait, what? Why have I just fallen out? I thought it would all the mechs would disappear and form into one, but why are there still some there? Right, um, let's get these car cars in. Okay, there you go. Right, oh. Oh, oh they're doing all. Oh, they're, they're shredding it. Um, if those guys could go in as well, that would be great, but it seems like they just want to stand there. Wait, what? Oh, it's an element thing. Why does it keep throwing me out? It, we've already... Wait, what happened? Oh, this is a mess. How's this element thing already been completed? And it's throwing me out. Oh, my. Right, um, can I get to my Mega Mech? 
there we go. Right, let's go back into the King Titan now. Oh, it's under half health already. This is... Why oh, can it stop throwing me out? Right, here we go again. It's only got 600k. Ow. That's not good. What? 85k damage? And I missed. Right, now I'm doing 30k. I, I don't understand this. How, how could I be one minute doing 80k and now 30k? Well, and there's, and there's another Ellie Bane. Great. Alright, only 200k left. Oh, this is going so easy. How's the Alpha King Titan going easier than the bait other than the Gamma, actually? And I've been thrown out again. Ow, no. Ow, what? <laughs> Why does it keep throwing me out? Alright, only 150k left, and all those car cars are dead. Right. Oh. One more. Just one more. We've done it. Let's go. Out of King Titan defeated. And that is the video done. The challenge completed with only car cars other than the Mega Mech I used at the very end. Alright, and um, let's get the Ascension. In fact, what's the loot like? Um, yeah, it's alright. Oh, that's a good tech rifle, that. That's a very good tech rifle. Shame I'm not going to need it. And that is the video done. I hope you enjoyed uh, this car car only challenge on Extinction. Where And it was a huge W. And before we cut to the final cutscene, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Absolutely beautiful. Go on, take a look. It's finally begun. The arcs are coming home. Each one carries with it the seeds of new life. Plants, animals, and humans. And these seeds will take root across the far corners of the world. Once they do, all that life will be unleashed. From there, it will spread, grow, and thrive. And this planet, our home, will bloom once more. As for the rest of the infection, well, the Arcs can take it from here. In time, they'll purge every last bit of it from its soil. But make no mistake, this is all thanks to you. I'm just glad I got to see it. <sighs> Look at that. Sun's rising.